I never tested, and I know plenty of pros as you will. Yeah. Don't even test balls. Oh. Quick. <laughs> Not enough spin on it at Incredible. all. Incredible. Yeah. Ball speed's a little yeah. down. Men. That's like 15 yards. Yeah. yeah. 20, 25 yards difference yeah. between the new one and the old one I'm using. Yeah. Today's purpose is to try and find a ball which is going to be optimal for me. This is the man to sort me out. Here he is, Luke from Tour Truck Golf. Noon. <laughs> Chief ball engineer. <laughs> okay, we're just going to get um, a measurement from the current ball I'm using, which is the 2017 TaylorMade TP5X, which is that one, and it should give us a bit of a baseline from a measurement perspective. So what numbers we can get. The 311 total 290 carry, two and a half thousand spin. He's pretty efficient as old Alex, isn't he? Smash factor through the roof, good launch angle, good spin. We can put the optimizer on here just to see yeah. two yards off, you've let yourself down. It did feel like a bit of a pull. <laughs> <laughs> so we've optimized the carry 290. Um, two yards off our optimal total. This goes blue when you're in the top few percent. So if you're blue, you're pretty good. The idea is to kind of keep these figures along these blue bars here. So two five is a really good number for spin. <laughs> 300, so there you go. A little bit low on the spin at 1800. A degree higher in launch, next thing we've We've hit it 10 yards longer on the carry, four yards longer as a toad. Third one, TP5X. Jesus. So that's the bad one. Yeah, that's, that's the bad one. But <laughs> this is how efficient that ball and this, this head is. I always feel like I'm just going to be there or thereabouts, even with the worst one. So you've dropped six yards. Seven yards as a, yeah, as a yeah. total. Ball speeds come down more than anything. Sounded a little bit healy. Yeah, it was. So ball speeds dropped. Launch, spin, and height stayed the same. Yeah. So consistent in that way. But how I've been playing, those first two felt uh, very relative to how, how it's been going. So that would, I think the merge of those two would be a, a good baseline figure to then look at the other balls and see how they perform against that. Do you want to go yeah, TP5? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll maybe stay in the brands and yeah, then okay. go through each brand. So this is the new 2022 TP5X? Yeah. And Alex's new ball in play. Yeah, see, so it, <laughs> it, like, it feels all right, but it didn't feel like it did with my current ball. There's something just like not quite right off the face with it. It's gone very similar to, the, as a carry yardage to your first shot with your original TP5X, but a little bit lower in spin. Okay. There's only one person feeling yeah. the ball on the face of the driver and that's itself. <laughs> this? Hmm. Should we move on to the TP5? Yeah. So I suppose... 294, it's gone, but very low spinning, so a bit inconsistent on the spin, really. When you hit it well, with your TP5X, it was 2,500 yeah, when you hit it solid. Yeah. These have been getting a little low at times. Let's go TP5. So this is a lower launching ball and a slightly higher spinning ball. Hmm. Yeah, so again. It's looking alright though. Yeah. Just not exciting me, that's for sure. Ball speed's a little down. Mental. That's like 15 yards. Yeah. Good three mile. 25 yards difference yeah. between the new one and the old one I'm using. Yeah, three mile an hour ball yeah, speed difference. Bonkers. What ball are we going for next? Should we go through the bridge stones? Yeah, these are the ones that I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> We're going to produce something. Your equivalent will be the BX. What have you got there? BXS. Yeah, so that is the equivalent of the TP5. Okay. So the one you've just hit with the tailor-made there, this is the same idea from Bridgestone. 
Oof. Mm, just up the hill, but the flight. Yeah. Yeah, a bit shorter again. Yeah, very similar numbers to the TP5. Bit down on ball speed. Spins around the same number, but only 273 on the fly. Right. That was good. That's yeah, nice. One six eight. Yeah, that's that's caught up. Yeah, with what you were looking for. Yeah, one six eight was your your best one, one with. Wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. One more with that one. Oof. Uh, no, heel again. Was it? Yeah. Well, I think it was actually probably surprisingly further than I thought it was going to be. One six five two seven nine. The TP5s and the, the BS are all hanging around the same spot, yeah. aren't they? I know we had a good one in, but yeah, yeah. There was, that was more of a hellish swing, one. it? We flushed it, angle yeah. of attack was a little bit more positive. Next thing, the peak height was higher. You've not, that's the highest one you've hit. Yeah. Apart from that kind of one we smoked at 106, but a lot of them were 94, 86. Yeah bit lower than what you were averaging out with your TP5, which was 112. This is the one I'm interested in as well, I think. Yeah, I think this is the one, yeah. It's the Bridgestone's equivalent of what you're using. And then what I've heard on the great vine and what we've seen from other people yeah. using it, it is the fastest. Okay. Is it what Bryson uses or? Yeah, so this is the Bryson ball. The one Alex has just hit there is like the Tiger ball. Okay. okay. Alright, do you know what? I didn't quite get it, but it actually felt more like my current ball. Odd. 291314, so very similar numbers. Mm. Ball speed. But ball speed is up there, but again, your height's gone up to 109 yeah, again. That's interesting. It does seem to be the window of height that you get that 290 plus yeah. carry, and then the spin, as long as we hang around that early to mid 2000s you know you're going to maximize your run aren't you for a dogger it actually still did all right yeah 282 to 321 ball speed 170. Oh. the highest mm. yeah, then. Yeah. Yeah. it's quick off the face isn't it dead on that spin again yeah. when you win it when you win it well mm. it's on that spin but that's up there with the fastest ball speed and it just guarantees that sort of higher ball that for you because you don't spin it too much get that ball in the air for as long as possible because when it hits the deck it's always going to be running yeah obviously to a point you don't yeah, want to start knocking yeah, 130 yeah. 140 foot but between that sort of 110 to 120, you're in a place where you're going to optimise quite easily, aren't you? One yard off, three yards longer as a total due to the lower spin. What's it feel like? It felt all right, to be fair. Yeah. Instinct was saying, yeah, that's something. Shrixen. What's the first one you got there, Alex? The Z-Star XV. The same as what we've been talking with your original ball and that Bridgestone BX we've just hit. It's yeah. their higher launching, lower spinning version. I've always felt the, the Strixons when I've tried them a bit kind of chalky, a bit, it's just like almost like, like skin on them. Yeah. And that's definitely like reflected in the feel in the past, but I've not tried one for a long time. So. It's well, it's not enough spin on that no. to keep it in the oh. air. Nice. That's nice. A bit better, but it kind of just drops off. Yeah, yeah massively. Not enough spin on it at Incredible. all. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. Good ball speed, but just can't keep the ball in the air. Yeah. So your hang time there was six seconds, but your better balls seven. have been more like seven, yeah. six I point eight. Sure. Sure. So the average with yours was six point nine. You were actually said just over seven seconds. You broke the seven second barrier. Yeah. Normally lasts longer than that. That's that. <laughs> seven point oh nine. That was with the Bridgestone. That. Right. Okay. 
There we go. And even the yeah, left... I still didn't think I ate one as good, but... Even the, the lefty with it was 6.64, yeah. where obviously you've made a good swing with the tricks in there, and it was only six seconds. Which is perfect for the guy who just really struggles with spinning the ball too much. Yeah. That descending angle a little left, Definitely. hits the spinny fade, desperate to take some spin off it. It looks like you might want to shook some next fade by the sounds of it. Nice. Again, felt good. Yeah, that was but nice. It should do the same again. Just drops off again, it yeah. Good. And it's just going to be up 270. I think you might have a carry on it. Oh no, two seven, seven, nine, seven yeah, yeah. So I ate it good. Maybe a bit of a funny one that four thousand one hundred one, but not the ball. For but you. it is interesting to not know that it yeah. does have a huge impact on mm. the result. Yeah, crazy. I, I mean, I never knew, never, never knew this. So now we're on the Z Star. Is it a diamond? Diamond. Or something? diamond. Yeah. So this is your Brooks Kepka ball. All right. Okay. He's looking for more spin in the longer irons. Right. He wanted a ball. This was more or less put towards him, really, because obviously he's just gone with Shrixen through his whole bag, I think. Right. And uh, he wanted a bit more spin in his longer irons, a little bit more peak height in the irons as well. Yeah. So this will generally, what we've seen from our ball fittings before, spins a little more and peak height is a little higher. Okay. So quite the opposite to what you've just hit in that XV Shrixen. Oh, felt all right. Yeah. That, the that's cover kept on going. This, uh, diamond's nice, like, it feels good. That kept yeah, not, going. Not the furthest, but... 294. Good number there, 109. 320. Yeah. Well, something that I've always been interested in is, I always feel like, it's an half decent distance, but then the the swing speed is always like way less than I think it's going to be. Yeah, is I that just because of an efficiency thing or what? I think when you're what 111 there, I think people get fooled a little bit when they go and play. In well, the when someone say they're swinging at 125 mile an hour, and I'm playing with these guys who say they do that, and I'm like, well, why not? Well, you're efficient. You're efficient. Right? Your, your angle of attack. Your angle of attack and path are, are very clean. <laughs> then you get a guy swinging at 10 mile an hour quicker, but is less yeah. on the positive, cuts across it maybe. Yeah. Next thing, he soaks up the pace in the ball, he curves it more yeah, than he would yeah. like to. Next thing, he, he's sat next to you. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. That, it keeps going, that ball. Different to the the last one. It just landed like yeah, on like, top of yeah. the other ball. Yeah. 298. It's a long. Ball speed. 171. Oh, Biggest ball speed, mate. I, I've seen good mm. ball speeds from the Z Star and the Z Star Diamond. Yeah. That's been good on the ball speed. It's just the question whether you would like it to go a little higher, whether it suits your iron game. Yeah, exactly. That's what all the other things that have yeah. to be factored into it yeah. because. <clears throat> Once upon a time when Nike were doing balls, they brought the new one out and I was hitting it miles, but I tell you what, chipping and putting was the awful. Resin. Right, I'm going to go after this, because it feels like it's a pretty good ball. Come on then. Oh, little Mickelson recoil there. It was, wasn't it? The recoil was faster than the downswing. In the back, in the back of the boot of that Citroen there. Tell you what. Quick. Oh. Quick. Oh. <laughs> Hey up, Brooks. <laughs> Brooks who? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's sort of spanner in the work. Yeah. A little quicker club head speed, yeah. obviously, oh, which has then it, yeah. in, introduced a bit more ball speed, which has jumped you to 302. So does three mile an hour extra club head speed equate to six or seven yards? Yeah, you're probably not far yeah. away. So I think if you made that swing with the Bridgestone, I think you would see the same jump in yardage. Okay, so this is the Z Star um, normal, is it? Is that what yeah, it? just the straight Z Star. And what are the chances of this one doing its magic or not? I, I think it will be quicker off the face than what we were doing with the equivalent of the Bridgestone and the TaylorMade. Yeah. This is obviously going to be a little bit lower launch and faster ball speeds, yeah. a little bit more spin. I think the ball speed will be good, but going off how you hit TP5 and the Tor BS, I don't think it's going to be wrong. Okay. But I've been wrong many a times each time. And we all. <laughs> you 
Well, that, that kept going deep. as well. Short, that. Yeah, was it, it short? Yeah, and it felt good. Yeah, two eight nine nineteen one six six. Wow. You just don't get on with what a, a ball that you would naturally hit. Because if someone said to you, right, well, I'm very positive on the angle of attack, don't create a lot of spin, mm. you would then say, you're best off with something like a, a softer ball. Something that will spin a bit, lower launching, because yeah. you already launch it yourself. But it can't be a coincidence that TP5, BX, S, mm. and a Z star both don't seem to perform or kind of do what you want it to yeah. do anyway. I think it would be rude not to it. try the uh, Pro V1, seeing that it's the number one ball in gold, it would be. It'd be good to get a comparison mm. with the rest that we've done. All right. This is the Pro V1X. One. Bit of a lunge to be fair, bit of a swing, but... A little bit? Oh! I think I went up up on the road. Mid, mid, nah, middle stump of the Did tree, it? I think. 169, 288, not too bad for... Stayed in the air long enough for a little bit of a left. Yeah. Normally your lefts will be a little low, a little bit less hang time. That's nice. Nearly. Mm. Looks like an XP, it was nearly. Doesn't it? Well, that's fell out. Yeah, yeah I think it's too like it's XP standard, isn't it? Only six seconds on the hang time. Looking at that, it is between that Z Star Diamond and the, yeah. the B X. Yeah. And the one I'm currently using, so this four doesn't got to last me the next fifteen years. <laughs> <laughs> well, looking at that. The, the BX and the Z Star Diamond are better. I, I don't think I actually got hold of a BX as best as I could. No, well, one one you did. I think it was that one. That was it. 169. Yeah, it was 733, wasn't it? Right. That was the, the one you hit well with the BX. Yeah. But then it's hard to look away from that Z Star Diamond that just tanked it out yeah. there. Fast ball speed and was, was in the air. What, 693, 731? Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Where you start making your decision is when you hit a couple of irons with it. Yeah. When you hit a couple of putts with it. Yeah. And then you see any differences there because one might be nowhere near what you want to see in an iron, mm. which then means, well, I don't want to be great with one club and really kind of hamper the performance of something else when you would hit something with an iron and a wedge and see which one averages out the yeah. best no definitely thanks mate i think that's been really insightful and hopefully people watching it have enjoyed it and also got a little bit of information of the importance of a ball fitting especially you know like everybody likes distance don't they? that's that's what everyone goes for yeah. um and when i first tested the TP5X in 2016, 2017. That was giving me 12 yards more than the current Titleist that I was using. Wow. And at the time I was getting the Titleist balls all for nothing. And I wasn't getting the tailor-made balls and I made the switch and just paid for them because obviously it was worth it that mm. much. And that definitely got me through um, PGA Tour China or P CGA Tour China, the, the Q School, because I, I vividly remember it. I went the following week, changed balls straight away, which is like borderline unheard of. And the carry distances were kind of always borderline, but I was always flying them by five or six yards. So I think if I was using the ball that I was using beforehand, chances are, you know, it could have gone in the bunker and that has a massive difference. When, mm. when you play the same course over four rounds and you're getting all these these carry yardages, which are kind of like borderline, but then when you know that you can quite easily cruise them, huge difference to the score. And obviously then performance and result and all those things go hand in hand. So I never tested, and I know plenty of pros, as you will, yeah, yeah. don't even test balls. And it's just proven there that yeah. it's like my efficiency is generally all right. So it's not like I'm swinging it totally different every single time over the course of the last, I don't know, 20 balls or whatever. Um, so yeah, I think it, I think it proves the point that you should get get tested. <laughs> <laughs> get tested. We, we had a, a lady in who's quality amateur golfer. She's someone who literally every ball just lands on top of each other. And she's like the easiest ball yeah, ever. Yeah. But... It's easy because everything's so consistent and you can see the differences. But then that's one end of the scale, the other end of the scale. She might be hitting it straight and 
and consistent. That guy who might have a high handicapper who's curving the ball yeah. a lot, he's still consistent. He curves it in that same manner all the time. By the looks of it, I'd be leaning towards mentioning you might want to try Shrixton XV, something that really takes the spin off the ball and try and strengthen the fade rather than see it mm. kind of get taken away by the wind. And So we're, we're learning all the time, but each swing is going to change what ball you play. Definitely, yeah. It's to great to each person. Because yeah. let's face it, there is not many places where you get to test the actual ball. Yeah. Mm. And Outside. see it on well, a perfect day like today, which has been a blessing. But it's perfect, there's no wind. Um, absolutely brilliant, thanks very much. No awesome. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I said, where's the big cat then? Here, what's he? So after nine holes then I went in waiting for, waiting for Tiger. Not the best thing to do, I'd never do it now. I saw him hitting balls, he's got 50 cameras behind him. Threw me balls down like that, a bit bit, bit messy. <laughs> Threw him at his heels, like he's like. <laughs> <laughs> I went back to his bag and I was just like, right. Go on then, what do you say to him? I just said, Ty, 